My name is Jacqueline Evans. I'm the Director of the Marae Moana Coordination Office for the Cook Islands Office of the Prime Minister. We were able to, under the legislation, protect areas around each of our 15 islands, extending to 50 nautical miles beyond each island, where no uh, large-scale industrial fishing or other industrial activities, such as seabed mining activities, is permitted. So the percentage of the full protection is 16% of our ocean territory. And our ocean territory is 2 million square kilometres, so that forms uh, about 324,000 square kilometres of ocean. Prime Minister Puna wanted to reverse the way that conservationists have been approaching conservation in the past. So instead of having an area of ocean for development and selecting areas for protection, he wanted to protect the whole ocean and then select areas for economic development. We proceeded to do all our consultations around all of the islands and went to see all of the communities and they also loved the idea of a protected area. Uh, there was a lot of push from the NGOs for full protection of the whole ocean as well as from traditional leaders and communities. They wanted to protect the whole EEZ. <laughs> Uh, and the traditional leaders wanted to have uh, protected areas around each of the islands to 100 miles and others you know, who are thinking more about revenue and development of our ocean wanted the protected areas only to extend to 24 miles but our government decided in the end that 50 nautical miles is a good compromise so it was a good uh, result. Our main obstacle was the lack of vision amongst people that we had to convince. We had uh, a push for large-scale commercial fishing within our ocean territory. We needed to convince people that this ocean protected area was really the better way to go because we can have more fish for our local communities, our local fishermen who go out on the small boats two, three meters with one line and one hook and um, we'll have more fish for them but we can also develop economically at the same time. You know, we don't have to give up on economic development, but we should also ensure that a lot of our ocean is protected as well. And so it just took a lot of talking with these government officials. I think it's important that we remember our connections as a people and also because you know, our ocean is connected as well. So it's really only one ocean. We are actually connected genealogically as well. We can recite genealogies that connect with French Polynesia here in the Cook Islands and there is also genealogies that can be recited from Hawaii down to here as well. So we need to reinforce those connections because that will be our strength to be able to work together to protect our whole ocean. So with our um, 50 nautical mile protected areas around our islands in the southern Cook Islands, um, they are connected both culturally and geologically with the Austral Islands. If the government decides in the French Polynesia, if they decide that they will protect the waters around the Austral Islands, it will become a much larger protected area between our southern islands and the Austral Islands.